Sarah the Explorer, Bedtime Explorers by Christine Ricci. It was sunset and streaks of purple, orange and pink filled the sky. Look at all of the colors, said Dora excitedly. Boo! cooed Dora's baby brother and sister, Guillermo and Isabella. Just then, Mommy called. Time to get ready for bed. See, Mommy, replied Dora, but the babies shook their heads. They didn't want to go to bed. What are we going to do? Asked Boots. I know, we can tell them a story as we all get ready for bed. Then they'll see how great it is to be bedtime explorers like us, exclaimed Dora, Isabella, Guillermo, are you ready for a bedtime adventure? The babies nodded excitedly. Once upon a time, there were two explorer babies who needed to get to bed, began Dora. But to get to bed, they needed to go on an adventure to bedtime hill. But Dora, how were the explorer babies going to get to bedtime hill? Boots asked. Who always knows which way to go, said Dora. Map, Boots replied. I can tell you how to get to Bedtime Hill, said Map. First you have to cross Bubble Bass Lake. Then go over to Sprish Bridge. That's how you'll get to Bedtime Hill. But hurry, you have to get to Bedtime Hill before the moon rises high in the sky. First. We have to find Bubble Bass Lake, said Dora. Where is it? Don de esta. The baby spotted a lake filled with bubbles in the distance. Mira, there it is, said Dora. Come on, Mama knows. Soon they arrived on the foamy shore. This is one bubbly lake, observed Boots. How are we going to get across? Guillermo and Isabella pointed to a rubber duck raft bobbing in the bubbles, gut sinking. Explorer babies shouted Dora. We can take that rubber duck raft. Dora, Boots and the Explorer babies said Saul and it wasn't long before bubbles surrounded their raft. They couldn't see the way. We've got to pop these bubbles to clear a pass across the lake said Dora. Let's count the bubbles as we pop them. Dora, Boots, and the Explorer babies counted and popped. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We popped twelve bubbles, exclaimed Dora. And look, we've made it to the other side. You know what we need to do after crossing Bubble Bass Lake, asked Boots. Put on our cool sea pajamas, buena idea, Boots, and Backpack will have just what we need, said Dora. Oh la, said Backpack. Dora, Boots, and the babies all need pajamas to wear. Well, I have pajamas. Do you see them? Dora picked out a pair of cozy pajamas for everyone and soon they were warm and snug. Soon, Dora, Boots, and the Explorer babies came upon a river. It was too deep to cross. Luckily, the Explorer babies spotted a bridge and pointed towards it. It's Toothbrush Bridge, shouted Boots. But as they got close to the bridge, the grumpy old troll jumped out and blocked the way. He wouldn't let Dora, Boots, and the Explorer babies cross until they had shown him how they brushed their teeth. Together, Dora and Boots sang as they brushed. Brush, brush, brush your teeth. Brush them all around. Brush the front. Brush the back. Brush them up and down. Well done, the grumpy old troll said. That was great brushing. You can cross the bridge. We made it to Bedtime Hill, said Dora. But we've got to get to the top before the moon rises. Boots had an idea. We can bounce on the pillows to get to the top quickly, he said. 
great idea, Boots, Dora said. Come on, explorer babies, let's jump. Vamos a saltar. Dora, Boots, and the explorer babies jumped to the top of Bedtime Hill and crawled into the giant bed just in time. Here comes the moon, cheered Dora. Slowly, the moon rose high into the sky. He looked down and smiled at them as they snuggled in the bed. Well done for getting to bed on time, bedtime explorers. Good night, Buenas noches. He called out as he showered them with moon twinkles to bring them sweet dreams. What an exciting adventure, said Dora. The babies really enjoyed our story. Look, they're asleep, said Boots. Then he let out a big yawn. I'm sleepy too. I think it's bedtime for both of you too, said Mommy with a smile. Good night, Dora. Boots whispered. Buenas noches, Boots, said Dora. Good night. Thank <music> you.